Today's video is inspired by a Wikipedia article on Osama bin Laden. Elephant. Yes, this is about an actual elephant who was branded a terrorist and named Osama bin Laden. Why? Well, bin Laden was a very bad elephant. Or was he? Let's review the facts. As you might expect from a story about Osama bin Laden, our tale takes us back to the early 2000s. Human expansion in northeast India has resulted in the destruction of elephants' natural habitats and the increasing encroachment of human settlements on elephant territory. This has led to humans and elephants living close together and occasionally interacting with each other, and not always in a positive way. On one hand, the elephants have watched the humans intrude on their territory and even destroy much of it, forcing the elephants to either move away or forage for food amongst the human settlements. On the other hand, if you're a human and an elephant comes into your village, well, holy shit, it's a massive fucking beast that weighs literal tons and has two massive spikes coming out of its damn face. Even if it's not being aggressive, it's still an animal, you know, it's just trampling around, knocking things over, breaking things, eating your food, endangering small children, and it's not like a dog or something, you can't just build a fence and tell it to fuck off, an elephant can just do what it wants. So it's no surprise then that these two species have found themselves in conflict, and they've had plenty of opportunities to unleash their aggression out on one another. In Assam in India, between 2001 and 2006, more than 250 people were killed by elephants, while villagers killed 268 elephants. This is unfortunate because Asian elephants are an endangered and protected species in India. Legally, them villagers shouldn't be killing elephants at all. The elephants are to be left alone. That is, until an elephant goes rogue. And that's where Osama bin Laden comes in. In 2004, an Asian elephant came to the attention of the people of Assam, India. Having no tusks and taught to be between 45 and 50 years old, the elephant began a two-year campaign of terror, destroying people's homes and property and trampling dozens of people. It's believed this particular elephant killed at least 27 people, earning him the nickname Osama bin Laden by villagers who viewed the threat he posed as terroristic. In 2006, the people had had enough of Osama bin Laden, and Assam's local assembly labelled him a rogue elephant, ordering the forestry officials to kill him and giving them a deadline to do so. Up until now, bin Laden had enjoyed the protection of being an endangered species, but as a rogue elephant, he no longer enjoyed such protections. Elephant hunters came after him, but bin Laden proved to be a tricky character, going into hiding and moving from place to place. He had managed to evade the hunters, until one day he appeared in a tea plantation. Forest wardens were aided by villagers, who used drums and fire to drive the animal towards a waiting hunter. However, Bin Laden seemed to sense the trap and immediately charged the hunter as soon as he spotted him. The hunter opened fire and kept firing until the elephant's charge was stopped a few yards away. Osama Bin Laden was dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Rest in peace, Osama bin Laden. Gone, but not forgotten. Or is he? Conservationists were not so sure, pointing out the fact that the tea plantation was more than 50 miles away from his usual stomping grounds. While the elephant had no tusks, forestry officials quickly buried it without verifying its footprints or dimensions, leading some to believe they had not killed the rogue elephant, but an innocent look-alike, just like the real Bin Laden. Some say Osama Bin Laden is still out there somewhere, roaming the forests and remote villages, looking for crops to eat, property to destroy, and heads to squish. Probably not, though, as this happened nearly 20 years ago, and he was already thought to be quite old. But it's not out of the question. So before you tuck yourself in tonight, make sure 
you unlock all your doors and check under your bed, you never know where Bin Laden might be lurking. And also, buy a membership for my channel for access to cool badges and emojis when you comment and other cool stuff. Thanks.